We all worry about our kids. Are they happy? Are they eating enough? Are they sleeping enough? Are they safe and thriving at school? Are they okay? No matter our background or where we live, all parents share one thing in common, protecting the safety and health of our children. So how do we do that? Kids spend a huge portion of their day at school. The things they see, hear, and feel at school impact their well-being overall. Research shows that when our children feel safe, supported, and valued at school, they have better grades, better health, and a better future. The things every parent wants. That's why we care so much about what our students are exposed to, both in and out of the classroom. Of course, we have every right to raise concerns about what happens at school. But sometimes, what one parent believes is best for their child may lead to other students no longer feeling included or supported at that very same school. The result? Students can feel alone or unsafe, causing a decline in grades or health. The good news is that as parents, we can take the time to understand whether the information forming our opinions is accurate, complete, and looking out for all children. Here are a few tips to keep in mind. Remember that we want all our children to be safe, healthy, and successful. Even when parents disagree, acknowledging our shared values can keep discussions productive. Look for credible sources of information. Ask who is behind the information, whether they have an agenda, and whether there are other sources that can back it up. Ask how different people might interpret the information. Could another parent view the information in an alternative way? Can you put yourself in their shoes? Consider whether the information you're hearing is the full picture of an issue. Are you hearing only negative things? Only positive? There may be another side that a source is leaving out. Remember that social media posts are looking for a reaction. In order to break through the noise online, many social media posts will use emotions to make things go viral. If you're angry, sad, or fearful, you're less likely to fact check to see if something is correct before you share the post. Look for information outside of your bubble. We often get stuck in online worlds where like-minded people echo each other. That's because social media platforms use your likes and shares to give you more of the same content. We can't walk in another parent's shoes, but we can all agree that we share at least one thing in common. We want the best for our kids. We owe it to each other as parents to work towards a safe and supportive learning environment for all children. Take a moment to consider the quality of information being shared and how it impacts school policies and programs. Together, we could commit to safe and healthy school environments for everyone.